Hey okay, guys, just wanted to talk to you guys about um, the different color in the willow and basically how I have to machine these billets in order to get the most out of a cleft and a cricket bat. So here's a billet that's um, taken from higher up of the tree. So just before the branches start to come off, this is where that chunk's been taken. And you can see the different color, the two tone here you've got your white sapwood and then you've got your red heartwood. Now what we need to try and do is capitalise as much as we possibly can on the sapwood. So when we cut our cleft, because this here, we've got our billet as you can see the triangle, this here is actually the face of the bat. So what we need to do is we can see the colour and what we're going to have, this is going to be a two tone bat. Um, so what we need to try and do is limit, we need to limit the amount of cutting along the sapwood side here. So we keep as much sapwood as possible because the sapwood is lighter um, and, and it plays a little bit better than having more heartwood. Um, so as we've got here, I've got some examples here. This is one that we, we cut last year. Um, now this would have been probably a, a smaller tree. Um, and as you can see, there's not much sapwood there and lots, lots of heartwood. So you can really see that color. So. I mean, this is probably gonna be a grade three or a grade two. Now these do play perfectly fine and they're great for um, um, you know, a second bat, a net bat or even a game bat, it's totally fine. Now we can, get, we can get performance out of these still by pressing them a little bit softer. If you press them too hard, they tend to crack and break. So these can be okay, but what we're really trying to do is limit the amount of heartwood we get in a bat. So here, here's some fresh ones that we've got. If you can hold that up there, you can see there's only really that much heartwood, which is great. And you've got all of this sapwood, you've got really nice even grains, a few little knots here or blemishes, but to me that doesn't matter. It's more about getting as much sapwood as you possibly can. Um, here's another example of, of another one that we've cut from the same, same few trees. So you've got your heartwood that side, plenty of sapwood there. So these are gonna make beautiful bats. Probably, these are probably gonna to be top grade um, or, or grade one. Um, so we've cut down, we cut down two trees. Now I cut down a bigger tree, so one with um, a wider girth, and one that was a little bit smaller but straighter. Um, the one that's smaller, you're gonna have more heartwood but tighter grain, so you have more grains. Um, the bigger one, you're gonna have, the grains are gonna be a little bit wider and you're gonna have more sapwood. So um, the, the, these two trees are gonna make some pretty good bats um, as we've gone through and I've shown a few photos so far. Um, I'm really, really pleased with, with um, the quality of, of, of timber that's, that's come out. Got beautiful straight grains. Um, and um, yeah, so there's a bit of information on, on what we need to do. Um, so when we're processing these, we need to keep as much sapwood as possible and this will be the face, so you're cutting down a line through there, which gives you the face of the bat, and then we process into the cleft like this. And then that's gonna sit now for probably four months or more to dry out, um, and then we can use it. So coming into the, the next cricket season, um, these are gonna be ready. Um, we're gonna cut down some more trees as well and just make sure we're really stocked up. Um, so the trees that we're gonna cut next are gonna be from the same area. So you're gonna get the same, a lot more sapwood, which is what we're trying to achieve. Anyway, hopefully there's some, um, some information there um, about what we're trying to do when we're machining. Um, all we're trying to do is maximize the amount of sapwood to heartwood, and then you're gonna make some terrific bats out of these. So thanks guys.